Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? It's your boy M97 here with yet another video and today we're gonna be discussing about how to learn visual effects. Not special effects, visual effects. Okay, so first off, let's start with some backstory and talk a bit about my own journey so far with films and visual effects. So I first started off back in 2008, 2009, I think almost 10 years ago now. And to be honest, I don't really remember what got me interested in films and visual effects in the first place. But I'm pretty sure the film I Am Legend with Will Smith and the doggy was one of the reasons why. When I first saw that movie, I was blown away. Seeing New York just transformed into literally a jungle was just... And it just snowballed from there on out and I was hooked with filmmaking as a whole. At first, I really had no clue. I mean, I was fiddling around with a bunch of websites and programs. I remember one website in particular that was called Go Animate, which allowed you to create some simple animations with pre-built characters and speech bubbles in which you could put text and have characters interact with each other and have conversations. Also, they had the, their own music library, if I remember correctly. Actually, let me see if that still, if it still exists. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Goanimate.com Oh, apparently now it is called v Viant? Viant? Either way, pretty cool website. Then I started using Windows Movie Maker, which if you watch the videos that I've created with it, you'd probably get cancer. I remember cutting clips, slowing them down, speeding them up to, I don't know, maybe 1000% because there was actually a limit as to how fast the video could go. And then lo and behold, I came across After Effects, which was in CS3 version at that point in time. And so I started watching tutorials on YouTube and I was watching behind the scenes videos of Freddy W, which is now Rocket Jump. I used to wait every Thursday for a new video to come out. And then the next day they would also release a behind the scenes video for that as well. And it was going great. You know, I was getting the hang of it and starting to really enjoy the learning process. And then boom, videocopilot.net. When I found that website, which I still recommend to anybody I ever talk to about After Effects or visual effects in general, it was like a blessing from heaven. I mean, that guy, Andrew Kramer is just, Mm, genius. And so it goes on, I just started watching every single one of his tutorials one by one and basically I would just recreate whatever he was teaching during a specific tutorial, do whatever he was doing and then go back to the tutorial again, continue watching for about a minute or two, go back in After Effects and just tweak around with the settings. Sometimes I'd forget so I, I had to go back to the tutorial and just rewind it, rewatch everything and th th those were some pretty fun times. And I'm pretty sure I've watched every single one of his tutorials at least five times each. And there are over 150 tutorials available on his website currently, so you do the math. And I'd like to recommend one video of his where he does a speech from back in 2014. It's a video where he talks about his career and a bunch of other stuff, so I would definitely recommend that you go check that out. The link will be provided down below in the description. Either way, let's now get into what software you can use when it comes to visual effects. A tip that I would give you is to not hesitate on trying different programs. You might find out that, you know, certain programs just suit your style best and others don't really work out that well. I see a lot of people going, oh, Everybody uses After Effects, so I'm gonna start using After Effects too. Don't have that kind of a mindset. I mean, you got Nuke, which is industry standard for a reason, because it's specifically built for high-end visual effects. On the other hand, in my opinion, After Effects is much faster and much easier to learn due to all the resources that are available to us online. And most of the people that I know and I've worked with tend to use Adobe products, so that might be another reason why you can uh, learn After Effects, Photoshop or Premiere Pro, whatever, a lot faster because, you know, your friends might help you out or not, you might just be a lonely loner with no friends. Just kidding. When it comes to visual effects though, it's a really, really broad field. You have 3D modeling, texturing, rigging, animating, compositing, and simulations, and the list goes on and on and on. So you have to eventually think about what you wanna focus on primarily, because if you ever plan on working on a visual effects company or starting a visual effects company of your own, you have to decide on what you want to do specifically. Mostly because you can't be modeling, texturing, rigging, animating, and compositing an entire film. I mean, you could if you 
you're working on a personal film and want to take matters into your own hands. But when it comes to large projects, it's almost impossible to finish them on your own. Unless you want to just spend your entire life working on it. And the next thing you know, you're 80 years old with not much juice left in you. Also, if you're wondering about whether you need to go to school to learn visual effects or become a pro, long story short, nope. However, there are certain things that you can get out of school such as networking and connecting with different people that share the same interests as you. You can get supplies and high-end equipment to test stuff out and who knows, who knows, you might even meet the love of your life in school. I mean, imagine working on a visual effects shot with your wife. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty sick. Just saying. I myself have tried almost everything I could get my hands on when it comes to visual effects. Because in my opinion, that's the best way to go about it. Just absorb everything you can. That way you get a better sense and feel of how different things work and how you can mix things up by using different software. Say for example, you shoot a video and you want to put 3D stuff in it. But before you can do that, you need to track it. And that's where you get to have an advantage if you happen to know programs like say Buju, Mocha, Synthizer, PF Track, uh, and so on and so forth. Just a side note, I even have experience with Unity 3D for about five to six years now, so I know the process of game development and coding to a certain level. By the way, you can check out Orbavoid, which is a game that I released over a year ago now. It is available on Android and Apple. The link will be provided down below in the description, or you can click the card that's gonna pop up right now. I don't know, either on this side or this side. I've also done anime drawings and animations, basically anything you could think of when it comes to visual effects, animations, film. I've probably done something of that sort throughout my life. My point is, don't be afraid to try out different things. You might find that you really enjoy creating games, just like I love creating games myself. And if, if it weren't for filmmaking, I'd probably be a game developer. You might also enjoy taking photographs. Who knows? Who knows? All we do know is that we don't know anything. By the way, that's a saying from Plato. You can Google it. Just find out more about it yourself. Or you can continue watching this, which I would recommend you do. So yeah, all in all, being a generalist is usually much better than just being good at one single thing. Okay, so you've chosen a software and now you want to get good at it. Just start creating. It's that simple. As I said before, start watching tutorials and follow what they teach so you get a better sense of how things work. Good resources that I could recommend for visual effects or even filmmaking for that matter would be a video co-pilot, obviously. Then you got Film Riot, uh, Corridor Digital, also their Corridor Crew channel which they changed uh, the name to recently. That channel is basically a gold mine. Just random YouTube tutorials ranging from basics to intermediate and all the way to advanced stuff. There's thousands of tutorial channels about about After Effects, mine included, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, 3ds Max, by the way a cool series for beginners for 3ds Max that I would recommend would be from a channel called The New Boston and I will provide the link down below in the description for that as well so go check that out if you're getting into 3ds Max. Then there's different creators like say Philip Bloom or Peter McKinnon who focus more on the camera side of things and cinematography. There's probably hundreds of people that I followed throughout the years that I can't even remember right now. Also there are websites in which you can find paid tutorials tutorials like Udemy.com or whatever else is out there. I recently purchased a course from Udemy about how to use V-Ray with 3ds Max since I was interested in upping my skills with rendering. So don't be afraid to even invest some money into it. You can't really make money unless you spend some of it first. Hmm? I think we... Never mind. Eventually, you're gonna get to a level where you won't need to rely as much on tutorials and you'll basically just want to create stuff on your own because then that way you challenge yourself. You may run into problems, say you shoot a video and you bring it in for visual effects. All of a sudden you see that you actually messed up with your shutter speed because now your footage is way too blurry and you can't really track it properly. However, you learn from your mistakes and then the next time you do go out to shoot something, you remember to crank up your shutter speed so that in post-production later on you won't run into any problems and you will just breeze past those issues. Just <laughs> if any of you know where that is from, leave a comment down below, let me know. <laughs> and always keep this in mind, never stop creating. The moment you stop creating, that's the exact same moment that you're gonna stop learning. In conclusion, if you're just starting out, you're gonna get lost. You're gonna look around the different UIs of different programs and just scratch your head thinking about what each button does and blah 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 blah. You have to understand one thing 
and this is very important. Anything new that you want to learn or get into requires time, effort, and patience. You can't be lazy and you most certainly cannot rush things. Also, you can't just close your eyes and just count to 10, snap your fingers, and then the next morning you wake up, you will have mastered After Effects. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It takes years of practicing, creating content, and experience in order to truly understand and grasp any craft. As for visual effects, it's really all about problem solving. You start analyzing the way light works, the way different objects interact with each other, the way gravity affects stuff around us, etc, etc. So anytime you get stuck, can't figure something out and just feel like quitting, don't do that, break a keyboard instead. Because even though you might have broken 50 keyboards throughout the learning process, eventually you're gonna look at those visual effects shots that you see from commercials and movies that you saw when you were a little kid and just be like, I'm confident I too can create that because I put my time and energy into learning and creating things that I was passionate about and enjoyed every single moment of that journey. Because trust me, you have no idea how fun it is and how rewarding it feels whenever you create something that can't really exist in real life and then later on when you look at it you just go oh wow i did that i did that i drew that up yeah <laughs> One example I can give you is while I was creating Orbovoid, uh, the game which I previously mentioned, I was learning new things as I kept developing it. So say I would run into a bug and couldn't fix it sometimes for like two to three days or even a week. It would just let go of it and just focus on different features. And then eventually when I did come back to it and I did fix it, I would be like, oh, I had this feeling of just smashing things because the feeling was just simply amazing. Anyway guys, this has been kind of a different video compared to my other videos that I've released in the past. Actually, I think this is the first video that I've done in this kind of style. So please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know if you're interested in this kind of stuff in the future as well. If you did enjoy it and learn new stuff, who knows, maybe I'll try my hand at some different topics. This has been M97. Thank you for watching and being patient all the way through. I really do appreciate your attention and I shall see you next time. Peace out.